It was incorporated back in the 1870s. And it has a president. So Bush was the president of the corporation. Today Obama's the president of the corporation. But people don't understand the United States is a privately owned company. It's a corporation. It does not represent the American people at all. It's a corporation. Go on the web or go to a library and look up uh, the, the subject of corporations and look up United States Corporation. You will find the United States Corporation, which is headquartered in Washington, D.C., is a privately owned corporation. It's a, it's a company. And as any other corporation, like, like I said, they got president, vice president, secretary, treasurer. But it has nothing to do with America as a, as a republic. It's a privately owned company. Oh, and Americans just go, go about their daily business uh, surrendering their sovereignty, surrendering their free will, surrendering their children, surrendering everything they have to a damn privately owned corporation, a company. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't know, the world is strange. But as I said in the beginning, the American flag is not an American flag, it's a U.S. flag. It's a flag that was designed for the corporation. And the, and the, and the stripes and the, the stars and stripes are totally different on an American flag than what they are on a U.S. flag. Another thing, I mean, it might not be of importance to people in other countries, but in America, um, you ask a person today in America, how many states are in the Union of America? They'll tell you there's 50 states, the 48 plus uh, Alaska and Hawaii. So it makes 50 states. Actually, in point of fact, any good uh, corporate attorney would tell you no, there's 100 states in the, in the uh, corporation, not 50. Because there are two states within California, within every state, there are two states. Oh. There's a state of California, and then there's a California state. Cal State is a, is a very familiar term to Californians. We have Cal State universities, Cal State uh, uh Utilities, Cal State Police. We have California State, California State, and of course we, we you know, in New York you have um, California or New York State. We'll say you'll go to New York State University or New York State Police, or, but there's a world of difference legally and lawfully between California State or Cal State New York, and the state of. The state of New York is totally different than New York State. Hmm. So uh, so it's a totally different thing. So it's a totally different government. So in America, in the United States, you have to understand that there's two different uh, operations going on simultaneously, but the people have no idea. All they know is there's California. No, no, there's California State, which is the state itself, and then there's the state of California, which is a federal corporation operating within the state called California. So anytime you see state of, state of Virginia, the state of, uh, of Alabama, which is different from Alabama state, the state of means it's a federal corporation called United States, privately owned federal corporation, which is operating within the state of, of Alabama. So there's the Alabama state, which is the state itself, and then there's the state of Alabama, which is the corporation in Washington, D.C., operating within that state. And so it's a world of difference, but they're very specifically uh, important to know. When you're doing business, when you're in, especially if you're going to court, you need to understand, are you going to court under the state of Alabama or Alabama state? You know, <laughs> the, the laws are totally different. But how many Americans understand any of this? How many Americans even care? Well, the, most, the, the reason why most people are not interested in the kind of information that I've been talking about for God knows at least 50 years, I started doing this back in 1959. And I started going public with my research back in 1980. But we're talking about 30 years I've been publicly talking about something and 50 years I've been doing it. But the reason why my work is not um, as successful as I would like for people to know about what I'm talking about, a lot of people don't know. 
And the reason why is because my work has nothing to do with basketball. <laughs> nothing to do with football or the silly, nonsensical, little childish games that they give us adults to play. You know, so Americans are famous for being infantile. We love to go out and, and have hamburgers and hot dogs and watch a ball game. And like with the kids. No, no, you're going out there because you are a kid. You are the kid. And you want to be entertained, so we go watch a ball game. Now, when I was a, when I was a kid, uh, when families would come over to visit my family, uh, you know, after dinner, the men would always end up in the front room with the cigars and wine and talking men talk, and the women would be out in the kitchen or wherever and talking uh, among themselves. So, and so the children were always told, go out and play, you know, go play ball. Uh, I was smart enough, even at seven, eight, nine, ten years old, to figure that they want you to go out and play ball. Why? Because they're adults and they want to talk about something adult that they don't want you hearing. And my, and my, uh, my first reaction was, and I always had problems with this. I would tell my dad, I don't want to go out and play ball. I want to hear what you're talking about. I want to hear what the men. I'm a man. I want to hear what the men are talking about. And it was not for you. This is not, it's on, and my dad would always say, it's on a need to know basis. You don't need to know. Go out and play ball. So that's today what, what, what our politicians tell us. You know, this is on a need to know basis, what we're doing. You, you don't need to know. You go out and play ball. So the way my dad would, uh, would handle it is that <clears throat> we all, uh, the kids all that were there loved my uncle, my dad's brother. He was, he was great with the kids. So, my dad and my uncle would, would get up and go out and play ball with us. So all now, once my uncle and my dad are going out to play ball with, now the kids want to go out and play with the, with the adult. Now it's fun. And about five minutes after we uh, were into the game, uh, of course, my dad would get tired. He has to go in. And my, my uncle would, a few minutes later, he had to go in. But the kids are now playing ball, and they're, 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 they're occupied now. And so that took care of that. They got the kids to go out and play ball. Well, the same thing is happening in America. This is why at all ball games, always, you know, football and basketball and, I don't care, tennis ball and soccer. I mean, America loves ball games because we're just a bunch of children loving ball games. But in all the ball games, you will always see uh, movie stars. They will zoom in on movie stars who are there at the game or the president's there or the senator is there with his wife watching the game. So it's like, oh, the uh, adults are out watching the game with us kids, you know. And they will have the president go out and throw the first ball. Daddy's coming out to play ball with us, you know. I saw through that crap a long time ago. I don't care who's at the ball game. I want to know what these, I want to know what these guys are doing at 2 o'clock in the morning. I want to know what they're doing at 3 o'clock in the morning and their secret meetings, uh, planning the demise of my country and planning the destruction of human freedom. I want to know who these uh, these criminals are. I don't, I'm not interested to see them at a ball game. I'm not impressed with their ball games. I'm not impressed with them. I'm trying to be a more realistic adult human being and I don't like being played for a fool. And that's all America is doing is playing everybody for a fool. It's about time we wake up and find out this ball game is over. The whole world is coming to the place where they're beginning to awaken to the fact that we've been had, all of us, on the earth. It's not just Americans. We're the first ones to go because we were the most ignorant of all. All around the world, people were ill-informed, but America is big-time stupid. We don't want to know. We're just having fun. Well, those party days are over. I think all the Americans are beginning to suspect there might possibly be something wrong in America, yeah. You know, yeah, I was you know. I was just saying the other day, you know, um, in Iceland and in Greece, they realize they're on the front lines right now. Yeah. America has no concept that they are on the front line too. America is even worse than all of them because when this country goes, this is this is the Roman Empire right now. We are the modern day Roman Empire. We are Rome. Uh, we are the great Egyptian Empire of the Pharaohs. The Mississippi, according to the secret societies, the Mississippi is referred to as the Nile. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's down true. the Nile, you have all the cities on the Nile. Memphis. Memphis, exactly, yeah, I was going to say. 
and Cairo. All these cities named after Egyptian cities on the Mississippi. Why?